Since the Industrial Revolution, human activity has increasingly led to the creation of large amounts of greenhouse gases and associated global warming. Today, climate change is one of the greatest threats of the modern age. In 2015, the Paris Agreement was drafted by nearly 200 governments to limit greenhouse gas emissions. This has led to industry seeking ways to adapt and work towards a low-carbon future to avoid potentially catastrophic consequences. One of those industries is gold. Gold is valuable and rare. Large amounts of rock need to be mined and processed to extract every ounce of gold, and this uses significant amounts of energy. This energy use creates greenhouse gas, or GHG, emissions, and due to gold's rarity, these are higher per tonne of gold than for the equivalent volume of a metal produced in bulk. But as only small amounts of gold are mined each year, its total emissions when compared to other mined products are actually quite low. Recognising more needs to be done to reduce climate change risks, many leading gold miners are switching from fossil fuels to cleaner, more renewable energy sources, such as geothermal, solar and hydroelectric power. Others are adopting innovative technological solutions and operational changes to ensure greater energy efficiency. And these initiatives have additional benefits creating safer, more efficient working environments that run with reduced costs. Gold's value has multiplied over recent decades as its role as a mainstream asset has become increasingly significant. And there is now growing interest from investors in gold's carbon footprint and its climate change impacts. When we look at gold's GHG emissions intensity in terms of value, it is among the lowest of all mined products. The amount of greenhouse gas associated with a dollar spent on gold is far smaller than for a dollar spent on most other metals. Recent research has also shown that over time, gold as part of a wider portfolio might help moderate the overall carbon footprint of investor holdings. Most of the emissions attributed to gold are related to its extraction and processing. Once it's in bullion form, it's likely to have very little associated ongoing carbon footprint, unlike almost all other investments. Gold also has a vital role to play in cutting-edge technologies designed to help us transition to a low-carbon future. For example, nanostructured gold catalysts have been used to help convert CO2 into useful fuels. Gold catalysts have also been incorporated into hydrogen fuel cells, improving their efficiency and performance and gold is of growing interest to the photovoltaic industry, offering improvements in how the sun's energy can be captured and utilised. These applications may be in the early stages of development, but they highlight the often overlooked potential for gold to help facilitate innovations that might help reduce GHG emissions. So, as the world moves to better manage the risks imposed by climate change, there are strong signs that gold can play a constructive role in the effort to secure a cleaner, more sustainable future.